use the dual feed quilting guide. Um, this is the dual feed foot uh, for the uh, 3050 is what I'm going to sew on today and it also is on the 3100. Um, it is an awesome uh, foot to, to be able to do some quilting with. The nice thing about this is I use it for bags, I use it for machine quilting, um, I use it for just piecing sometimes if I have a uh, uh, long seam that I want to go through. I just use it on double gauze and it worked great. So this fits onto your machine. I have one on already. It fits on your machine with that um, uh, attachment and then you're going to plug it into the back of your machine. And then um, you're going to just snap in the foot feet. And that's as easy as it is to put that on. And this is how you take it off. And if you wanted to change out your feet, um, they also have a, a guide that would be able to stitch in the ditch. So the nice thing about this is the piece that you're going to get with the, um, the dual feed uh, quilting guide is that this is how you, you're gonna get this um, guide. There's two of them. They're the one I already have on the machine. And you're gonna get this piece on, to put on your machine, uh, I'm sorry, on your, uh, your uh, foot. You just slide it on and then you just tighten the screw and it keeps it in place. And that screw comes with it, right? Yeah, the screw comes with it, yep. And then this is the important part about this is that these is a left and a right and it slides on. And I've used these before in the past with other machines and they just wobbled or they moved and I wasn't real happy with the results because I felt like I was always adjusting. With this, it is so nice and tight, you don't have to worry about it. It is really, really nice. So I'm gonna work on a little piece here, Terry. It, close so that you can see. Um, so how this works is um, I'm going to get the machine going here. Um, and this is my guide. And so I'm going to just follow because this string is got kind of a wave in it. I'm just going to use the guide to follow it. And it kind of sounds just like what it is. And it just sews just as nice as that. And then what's really terrific about this is, all right, now I'm gonna be able to just set this back on. You can see how it kind of, the guide, I should be able to just take this like so and it should follow. There we go. And so you keep your eyes on the guide. I, I and the, keep my eyes on the guide, right? Not where it's stitching. Nope, nope. I just keep and my, then it'll just make a nice mirror yes. image of your other yes. stitch. And what this is nice for is if you want to do some machine quilting on for a bag, especially, and you, um, it, it's it can accommodate the thickness of that fabric. It's accommodating this really well. And you can see how it's going to give you that one inch or two inch or whatever you need uh, sew line a quilt line and the stitches are even uh, it's a good it's a good good way to do some machine quilting uh, for bags or just uh, table runners or quilting um, but I've got a piece here too that you can um, use your machine quilting on and so this is what we call cross hatching it's the same concept you just go up and down and it looks really it's a so you would call. mark like one line with the pin you don't even have to you can just go from one side to the other and you can use your laser light on your machine and then you just keep using this foot um, and get my size across um, so that's how you use the dual feed I have to get the right name on this thing now because um, I just call it the movement foot and then this is a guide and so that's how you use it and that's how you attach it to this move it foot. This is a great, great little uh, uh, attachment for your machine. You'll really enjoy it. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, Jan. Those were just so useful helps and thank you, Beehive. See you next time. Okay.